Hi everyone, we are in my kitchen and I'm going to be making a Mexican soup dish called pozole, which is really similar to menudo, if anyone's ever had menudo. So um, with pozole, it's pork and hominy and uh, chilies. Usually I get different kinds of chilies, ancho, California, and I soak them and I grind them, but I'm just going to do it with um, regular chili powder today, and I'm going to be using this one. Um, Badia chili powder and um, as you can see I totally love to cook and um, so yeah I'm going to be doing that so the first thing we do is I use three packages of 1.4 pounds each about more or less of the pork loin country ribs with absolutely no bones and the reason why I use that I'm going to show you what it looks like right here is because it has no bones and it has less fat in it so I'm going to hold this and so I want to boil I got my three packages, I put them in my pot, and um, I'm just letting them boil until they basically fall apart. And you'll notice when you get some of this foam on top in your soup while you're cooking, remove that. I'm going to remove that. That just grosses me out so bad. Everything grosses me out, but I'm just going to come in here and remove all of that foam from my pork. And as you can see, my ribs are in there and they're boiling. You can use... Um, pork shoulder or pork butt also like a big roast if you want to I've done that before but I just like this better because look at a steaming up <laughs> I just like this better because um let me clean this Woo. that is so funny because actually it's just easier to cook you know it's a lot less work because then you have to shred it remove all the fat and all that and this way it's just easier to do that okay so you just come and I'm just going to slowly, and I use one of these, these little strainers, the basket ones, I don't know what they're called, little mini one. My grandma used to use this for her coffee. And, um, yeah, so basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to boil this down until the pork gets so tender that it just totally falls apart. So, so far that's what we're doing, and it's doing pretty good. I have it on in between medium and high over there which is this one right there and um, mmm I just love pozole it's so good so this is my beginnings of my soup and I'm just going to go and show you as I go how to do it so that's the first thing we're going to do so we're going to cook this and sometimes it takes anywhere from two to three hours just to get your pork to the point where it's just going to fall apart you could either take it out and shred it on a plate or you could just get a fork and just shred it in there but it will eventually fall apart so we'll come back when that's ready okay now my pork is all done and I got rid of all the foam on the top so all I'm left with now was the the juice I took the meat out so I could shred it and then I I got a pitcher and I filled the pot to make sure it was at least at the halfway mark so I want to keep it at least at the halfway mark full of water and here's my pork and it's um, falling apart and you could shred it better than this I just you know use a fork whatever but I'm just gonna stick this back in there and after cooking a while it's gonna fall apart even more so I'm just gonna probably do it about like this I'm going to use three one pound 13 ounce cans of hominy white hominy or it's 29 ounces and I'm going to use three of them and I drained all the juice out. Now, this is white hominy. I know there's yellow. I haven't a clue what it tastes like or what's the difference, so don't ask. I don't know. And I'm just going to get them and pour them into the soup. Make sure you get it all out. Second one. And the third one. Okay. Okay, I forgot to mention when I first put the pork in the water, I put about um, what's equivalent to six to eight um, cloves of garlic and about two tablespoons of onion powder, not salt. And so that's what I did for that. So I have put the meat in there now, so the meat and the hominy are now together. And you're going to let it cook more so the meat's going to fall apart even more. 
And um, this is a piece of fat. You want um, some of the fat in there because that's what's going to give you your flavor. Uh, I made it one time and took all the fat out and it just didn't taste the same. You want some in there. And then you can put um, oregano, which for some dumb reason I forgot I didn't have any. But you can put oregano in there, about two tablespoons. And now it's time for the chili powder. And I don't measure because this is all according to taste. But if you have oregano, at least, you know, put at least two tablespoons in there. Or some people like to wait until they actually put it in their bowl and then they do it that way. So I'm just pouring it. Like I said, I don't measure because this is all according to taste. This part of it. And you can just use any chili powder you buy at the store and it definitely needs more because it's not dark enough. I don't know how much it would be if I measured it, like half a cup or more, maybe. I should start to measure. My grandma never measured anything and neither did my mom, so I never measure either. I don't know if that's a good or a bad habit, but whatever. And then I'm going to add some um, salt and pepper. Not too much. It's going to cook again. I'm going to put the lid on it and it's going to have to cook down for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour from this point on. So it's not, you know, it's not quite done. How many needs to get soft? Bless you, be My daughter's over there. Anyways, I'm going to add some salt to it. I'll add salt to it after because it don't really matter. Right now, I just want to add the chili powder so you can incorporate in there. I put about maybe half a cup right now. You could put more. Like I said, it's all a matter of taste. So that's what it looks like right now. Got all that hominy and all that meat in there. Um, usually, I put oregano. So you put oregano in there, chili powder, salt, and pepper. It already has the onion and the garlic in it. You could use whole cloves, which I would use six to eight whole crushed cloves and then I'm trying to put this back because I realize it's really close that's what that looks like and I'm just going to put a lid on it and I'm going to let it cook for like about 45 minutes to an hour I'm not sure if I mentioned but I'm cooking this on medium <clears throat> I have an electric burner so if you have a gas stove that's even better but um, sometimes I cook mine between medium and medium high because it's electric, but if it's a gas stove, keep it on medium. And we're just going to, I put a little bit more chili powder. I put about a teaspoon of cumin, a comino. And then um, that's it. That's what it's looking like right now. So we're just going to let it cook for about an hour. Okay. Okay, the pozole is done cooking. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It has a beautiful red color. And your meat is nice and cooked, and the hominy, and your chili, your juice, and um, that's what it looks like. I'm trying to get a close up of this. And it is so good. Oh my god, I love pozole so much. So that's the pozole. This, I'm looking through the camera, <laughs> it don't even do it justice because it's not even the right color. But it's a beautiful red color. So this is my pozole and it's done. I'll just take it a spoon. And there's your hominy and your meat. And the soup is so beautiful and so flavorful. Now we're going to garnish. And I want to say you don't have to use pork. A lot of people use chicken. So you could do the same thing but use a whole chicken or chicken breast for your pozole. Um, I've heard of beef for pozole but I, I like the pork. So we're going to garnish this. And what I did was I got some corn tortillas and I cut them in strips like this and I'm just going to fry them because they're going to go on top of our bolo pozole and I'm just going to stick them in there and fry them up till they get really super crispy okay so here are the condiments I have lettuce, onion, and avocado and the fried tortilla strips normally, originally like in Mexico you use um, cabbage and radishes and avocado and onion, but Lorena doesn't like the cabbage, so use lettuce, and she doesn't really like the radishes, but and lemon, which you should have fresh, but I don't. 
So you're just going to add some lemon. Garnish it with the rest of your toppings and that's it. You have the beautiful soup and it's rich and it's hearty. And I have my onion and my lemon and my lettuce and my avocado right here. And I'm just going to taste this. Oh my god. It's so flavorful and it's so beautiful. Okay, there's my pozole. Oh my god, my chapna. Hope you liked it. Bye bye. Can I take the first bite? I'm trying to find some meat at the bottom. Or maybe lurking. <laughs> How is it? Mm -hmm. Really good? Mm -hmm. Pozole. This one's mine. Beautiful. I'll taste it for you. Oh, tell me. <laughs> I know it's on the bottom and all, all the stuff. That is good. Bye.